Undead Nightmare has always been somewhat of a discussion in Red Dead Redemption 2, and rightfully so, because it makes sense, right? I mean, Red Dead Redemption 1 had it, so of course, it isn't ridiculous to think about a sequel in this one. I mean, there's tons of speculation about what the next one might have in store for us, and I think that we have enough evidence to support a sequel, if not basically confirm it. Obviously, a lot of you are going to say that it can't be confirmed if it isn't, you know, literally confirmed, but why on earth would they go as far as they did with this easter egg that I'm about to show you within Red Dead Redemption 2. I've already covered a lot of the speculation about what the Undead Nightmare sequel might feature in terms of, you know, creatures and stuff like that, but today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the easter egg that basically confirms its existence. Undead Nightmare as a standalone DLC didn't have any direct association with the main story in Red Dead Redemption 1, because of course the DLC altered the course of the story itself, so why would they add an Undead Nightmare easter egg in Red Dead Redemption 2? I mean, a lot of you might say that it was just a little subtle nod to the DLC, but this easter egg is just a full quest that involves collecting random symbols around the map that lead to a cipher, which of course is something you have to crack to figure out. Even after you find all the symbols, Rockstar still expected you to crack the code that the drawings offered. This is a huge easter egg. Thanks to the folks over at Reddit on the subreddit called Red Dead Mysteries, we can actually see what this cipher translates to. And I gotta give thanks to the users on screen over on Reddit because it's definitely not easy to figure this kind of stuff out. Ciphers are the real deal, so again, thanks for figuring this out. It translates to the blessed are the peacemakers Ayahuatl. So, I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say Aya for the remainder of this video. But to actually get all of these symbols, it's actually quite a long process that I won't include in this video because this video is less of a tutorial video and more of a discussion thing, so I'll link a video to a tutorial in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. What this cipher means, I really don't know. I'm not sure what to take from the blessed are the peacemakers Aya. It's, it's really tough to say what this necessarily means, but we do know who Aya is, and it's a direct nod at one of the characters in Red Dead Redemption 1, specifically an Aztec being, force or goddess who controlled mist, smoke, and most particularly, crepuscular rays, the dark and light beams that appear under the right condition at sunset. She was also the goddess of fame and glory, and this is all being taken from the Red Dead Wiki, and I'm actually going to go ahead and read the whole thing because it does reveal a lot of insight into who she is as a character and how she plays a part in the Undead Nightmare DLC in Red Dead Redemption 1. She first appears as a woman that is in both groups of survivors in Blackwater, then again with the Sasquatch Hunter. She also appears in the opening cutscene of the Survivor Mission Dinner for Two, as she can be seen looking through the window. She is later seen in the opening cutscene of the Missing Souls mission. After John Marston meets Mother Superior, she again appears as a nun. Mother Superior tells him that the nun had told her the curse was caused by Abraham Reyes, who disturbed an Aztec curse after retrieving something. When John tracks Reyes down, he finds the zombie Reyes chasing the same woman around a table. After Reyes is dispatched, she shows John the mask that Reyes took whilst taking him down to the crypt. Her behavior becomes increasingly unusual, mentioning the zombies' anger and ancient curse while John notices the undead aren't attacking her. Much to John's surprise, she also quotes Jack on the story that he was reading, some people worship the moon, and the brave man has to kill everyone. Upon reaching the altar, she tells John to return the mask and disappears as he does so. She says her name is Aya, and a horse is waiting for him outside so he can return home. John Marston stood for a moment, confused of what happened. The horse is death, one of the four horses of the apocalypse. Creatures! Big jump, bastard! Let's put an end to this. Return the mask. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. A horse is waiting for you. You should return home. Of 
course, that is straight from the wiki and the events that happened within Red Dead Redemption 1 in the Undead Nightmare DLC. Of course, I don't have gameplay for all of that, so I'm just going to go ahead and describe it. Um, but as you can see, the person holds a significant amount of importance within the Undead Nightmare DLC in Red Dead Redemption 1. But what does this entail for a potential Undead Nightmare 2 DLC in Red Dead Redemption 2? I don't think that they would add such a convoluted mystery into this gigantic game just so they can make a you know, a cheeky nod at something they did in the past. I personally think this is just a glimpse of what we can expect from Red Dead Redemption 2 when it comes to DLC, particularly an Undead Nightmare 2 DLC. Uh, whether or not this takes place in the online mode is up for debate, but I think most of us are hoping for a story-based DLC because I personally think that Red Dead Redemption 2's best trait is the story, and it just works out better in a game like this compared to something like GTA. I mean, the main thing that they're focusing on uh, with online is you know the story again with this cipher figured out i'm not sure that any of this can be labeled as officially confirmed but i 100 percent believe in my opinion that this is confirmed because again i don't think that they would add something this convoluted into the game just to pay homage to one of the dlcs they made in the past i think it actually holds some significance here Especially considering that Red Dead Redemption 2 has all of these various easter eggs just spread out through the whole world that all just kind of tease us. I mean, every easter egg we get in this game is almost like it's barely scratching the surface of what they have to offer. They don't actually lead us to anything like an actual monster or something that shows up in game. Just kind of like it's there, you know, like the witch's cauldron. They don't actually show a witch or the monster in the house they does it's not an actual monster that comes alive i mean all that sort of stuff it just it's almost like they're teasing us for an undead nightmare 2 dlc the game even shows us the mask that makes everything happen in undead nightmare it's at the fence in saint denis and it's just sitting there on the shelf i mean what the hell it, it, it's literally just sitting there why would it be there i mean if they decide to go ahead and actually give us another undead nightmare dlc it's kind of hard to say what they're going to do with it because Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel to the events of Red Dead 1, so of course you think the same thing would apply to Undead Nightmare, so how could they implement something like this? The events of Undead Nightmare 2 might have to somehow take place before the events of the first one. I just don't see how that would all work out. I mean, they could make it take place after the story of Red Dead Redemption 1, but it would mean completely altering the map around the world just so they can make it fit into the time period that the DLC would take place in because of course the map around the world is you know made to be in the time period that you know the game takes place in of course John dies in Red Dead Redemption 1 so of course it's all taking place before John died and there's you know there's things in the game that you wouldn't see in Red Dead Redemption 1 so who knows I mean I have no clue what to expect here um but I definitely think it's confirmed I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below because I definitely think this, you know, confirms an Undead Nightmare 2 DLC. So, again, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about all of this. Uh, do you think it's possible that this is true or not? Um, please leave a like and subscribe on the video because it only does take a second out of your day to make mine. And with that out of the way, that's going to be it for the video. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next one.